Hello, KGC fans and listeners. Today, I am joined by one of the hardest working women in music today. I am joined by Carol, North Carolina native, Lee Newton. Lee, how you doing, my friend? I'm great, Caden. How are you? I am doing just fine. It's an honor for you to be on my show, and, and it's an honor for me to talk to you here today. Well, it's an honor to be here, and what an introduction. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about how your new album, that you're working on a new album that's featuring guys like T. T. Graham Brown and Joe Bonzo, the Oak Ridge Boys. Talk to us about how all of Um, these gospel people came to be on your new record. Oh, my. Well, and it's it's just truly... Truly a godsend, you know. I, you know, I released Unleashed last year, which I won um, album of the year, uh, which it was just released not even a year ago. Um, this April will be a year that it's been out, and I was lucky to have Pam tell us, uh, Leroy Parnell and Leona Williams on that album. Um, but then, you know, I released Straight from the or Straight from the Heart, which was um, like for the it's like a is a cover album with a bunch of love songs for valentine's day i wanted to do something extra for all of my friends out there and so i released that one on valentine's day of covers which had lionel richie which you know um a lot of different other covers that i did ben skill but i've been working on this gospel album that you have just mentioned uh called crossroads and um it has been truly a labor of love um joe bonzel from the oak from the Oak Ridge boys. I just, every one of those guys have been so kind and so genuine to me and they really helped me. And when I say that, just them even believing in me, sharing a post or going that a girl, that's huge because they're so well-respected and people love them so much that when they speak, you listen. So it's just such a huge compliment when, they even mention your name. Uh, it's a very humbling. Um, and, um, but yeah, so William Lee, uh, Dwayne, I mean, Richard, and then Joe. Joe was so sweet and so kind to um, say that he would be on this album with me. And so we're doing uh, Just a Closer Walk with Thee. Uh, we just got through recording it in Nashville last week. Um, it will be the first single off of the Crossroads album. And like I said, oh my gosh, it's turned into a Lee Newton and Friends album because I have T. Graham Brown. I have Dale Houston, which is my sweetheart. Um, we're doing uh, One Day at a Time, which we did the Merle Haggard version. Um, then, um, oh my gosh, I have Rhonda Vincent. I have Tony Jackson. I have T. Graham Brown. We're recording Monday. Uh, Deborah Allen, uh, Kay Shipley. I mean, the list goes on and on. And Every time I turn around, there's just been such a blessing that God has gave me for this album. Um, And the last one, like I said, was Rhonda Vincent joining on. And uh, wow, what a song we're doing. It's one of my dad's favorites. Uh, We're doing I Saw the Lot. And her and the Rage are even doing the music for it. I mean, they're singing on it too. So I'm like... It's just huge. It's really huge for a little Canton girl like me. <laughs> well, I want to also make mention that not only please go to Lee Newton.com to uh, not only pre-save and, and we'll get Lee back on the show uh, once the album comes out to promote the show or promote the album a little bit, but talk to us a little bit about how faith has encouraged you grow- growing up in Canton how faith has helped you and especially with this new record is it like god just said all right here's the songs you're going to record for this new record no from well from time i was a little girl i've always grew up in church my mom always had me in every um tent revival every sunday she had me in church she was a recovering alcoholic and she battled with depression a lot of her life and but she one thing she did taught me taught me about the Lord and how much he loved me and throughout my life of everything I've been through I've always looked to him and let him guide me and sometimes I didn't follow where he wanted me to go and I would drift off and he always brought me back and so um, the last few years has been a very 
it's kind of like what the title of this album is it's called crossroads and you find yourself i think at a point in your life a spiritual crossroads or crossroads in any way that you feel like okay god i'm gonna let you guide me i'm gonna do what you want me to do uh with this gift that you have given me um and he has given me this beautiful gift of being able to write songs and touch people and so i know that's my mission whether it's even when i sing my country music Whatever it is in my everyday life, I've been able to talk to people. I know that I'm supposed to 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 tell my testimony of what I've went through, and um, this song is or this album has just came about with the, the with every person that has joined. It's brought a different song out of the blue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that has like just added a different flair, a different, there's something going to be on there for everybody. Um, there is soul. There is the country. Uh, me and Tawny Jackson, we're doing long black train. Uh, we're doing, <laughs> it's going to be just phenomenal. Like I said, me and Dale's doing one day at a time, but it's done like in a Merle Haggard version. Um, uh, you know, me and T Graham's doing precious Lord, take my hand. And it's very soulful. Then you had the bluegrass side, of Rhonda Vincent with I Saw the Light. It's upbeat. Um, this album, it, there's just something going to be for everybody. Uh, I'm just super excited about it. And I had mentioned that you, in your intro, that you are one of the hardest working people in show <laughs> business. And that was meant to us by Jeff Panzer. Oh. I mean, Jeff Panzer, he is, I mean, he's co-produced this brand new, great, yeah. amazing record. Go check it out. Uh -huh. I love Danny. <laughs> Everybody loves Danny. Please go to yes. DannyStephanetti.com slash merchandise. Get to your one of these. And, uh, well, your name may not be in the credits, but uh, you you can expect the same amount of great music as you will when you get Lee's crossover record. But Aww. I want to talk to you about some of your influences growing up in Missouri or North Carolina. Growing I almost said Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I know some people in Missouri. <laughs> yeah, long day for me. <laughs> but uh, no, growing up in North Carolina, I, you had all sorts of different kind of influences. Was anybody on this new record that you've had an influence on you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, well, for one, I mean, Joe Bonzel. I mean, the Oaks. I mean, I grew up listening to them. And to be in his presence, I mean, he made me feel... He didn't make me feel like I was a nobody. He he let me feel like I belonged there right with him. And we just sat on that couch and sang before we went into the studio. And just, it, it, I don't know if people really even realize what an impact they have on people. And he is one of those people that that yeah. has that. Um, but yeah, there's so many, it's on the album that has been huge influences on me. Um, you know, I grew up listening to Hank and Patsy and Loretta and Tammy and um, then my style I kind of switched around and then it, I went through um, you know Madonna I mean I was even a huge Madonna fan when I was really young I'm but sorry. I think that that gave me a lot of the performing you know just the whole yeah. the, the performing and having fun um, but I went from that then into Southern Rock um, I love Susan Tedeschi and Bonnie Raitt um, and then Leonard Skinner, you know, and I got to sing uh, back up on three uh, shows in New York City with three original members of Skinner. So that was a huge uh, moment in my life where it, it it was something big for this girl to get to go to New York and stand there in between the, the, the original honkettes. Um, that was a, a very a moment in my life where I felt like I was like, man, this is so cool. I don't never want this feeling to ever end. <laughs> you know, I can hear a lot of your influences in some of your earlier music and, and you know what I love about you. And, and also I might want to say congratulations to you and Dale who are engaged. I want to say. Thank you. Yes. And I don't really travel a lot and people, you're going to be the first to hear this on the podcast. I will make sure I'm, I'm there at the wedding. I, I oh, will. I am so excited, Kate. And yeah, we're having it. Uh, well, as you know, it's an open invitation. So we, 
everybody has followed our love story. Um, you know, he had a lot of followers. <laughs> I had a lot of followers and everybody that followed each one of us rooted for us when we got together. And we have just, um, people just love seeing people do good and, and fall in love and, and good things happen. And that's what's happened with me and Dale. And we feel like, you know, God put us together and, uh, we wanted everybody to join in on our celebration. So we had it for, we're having it at the Johnny Cash, um, farm in Bon Aqua, which Johnny Cash, all of his stuff still there. They call it the center of the universe. It's beautiful. And uh, so we have made it an open invitation for everyone to come. Uh, it's going to be like Dale says, like a Sunday in the South. Uh, everybody bring just the covered dish. The Marine Corps is coming. They're doing the all the barbecue. I mean, we're going to have band there we're going to music and dancing there's some surprises that me and dale are doing for everybody that comes so you're not going to want to miss it it's it's going to be awesome please if you guys are in the where is it going to be at the north carolina it's going to be in bon aqua tennessee tennessee um, and it is at the Johnny Cash Farm. It's called the Hideaway, like the Storytellers Hideaway Museum. But it's actually Johnny Cash's house. There's all kinds of stuff just to look at to even go there. It's beautiful. Uh, and that's where I had my album release for um, Unleashed was there. And um, it's just a, a great place. Brian and Sally Oxley own it. Um, and they have really done well preserving all of Johnny Cash's stuff and memorabilia and just memories. They've, you know, when you walk in, you see all of Johnny's stuff. So it's pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, June 24th. Please, if you guys are in the Tennessee area, make the trip, go support this wonderful lady and her fiance and, and, and her son cash and, and just go support their, um married as i do and and like i said i don't really get out and travel that much but i'm i'm making it a plan to come out there and surprise you guys for the wedding and uh, oh, I because love it. <laughs> because i'll tell you something you guys you and dale and and everything everybody like that are the reason why i, I still listen to gospel music because i mean it's i love hearing those southern roots come together to create something beautiful and um i want to talk I want to talk to you a lot about how you guys rode on Merle Haggard's old bus. Well, Dale um, owns the Super Chief. That's his bus. He bought it. It was Merle's second Super Chief, or it's, it's Merle's second bus. Um, he had the Chief, and then he had Super Chief. Then he has one, I think Teresa's got the last one, but this one right here, um, and actually, if you see in this picture, I got had painted for Dale. It's Dale and Merle, and then, of course, the Super Chief's in the background. So, um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and Dale, he, um, just, he's been in the studio, so he is um, recording his country album now uh his first single will be coming out um and then like i said um uh, I, I you know all mine's country except for the you know this gospel one and then i'll be releasing my next country album um in you know in months to come but yeah i've been writing tons of songs for it um super excited you know how how does some how does someone come up with uh, you know an idea of how did you come up with the idea for Crossroads? Did you how how did that come about? That idea, which I mean, there's people have been doing stuff for Crossroads and all that, but in my song, um, you know, Crossroads has been out different in different movies. You know, I mean, you hear the term. There's a song. There's all kinds of stuff for Crossroads, but for me. And the song that I wrote called Strength of a Woman. And it's there's a there's a line in it and it says, When you're at the crossroads and you got a choice to make, choose the high road, you're better off that way. So I love that I love that crossroads because at that moment I was at that crossroads, like that I was telling you about, where I I, I had to make a decision. And I had to let God lead the way, even though I was scareder than scared. I, I I knew God had me and he sure did. He has 
covered me with blessings and he has took me on this beautiful journey and uh, these past few years um you know like I, I said I you know I came from an abused marriage where I had to literally flee from my home with absolutely nothing not even a pair of shoes on my feet and I had little cash man um you know four years old on my hip running and um that was the crossroads. That's when I knew that God had more for me, had more for that little boy. And sure enough, um, he has rebuilt a beautiful life. Um, that's that I get to share my gift that he has given me of music and song and writing my stories that will inspire people. He has opened up so many doors of wonderful, genuine people that has stood by my side, including Jeff Panzer, uh, William Lee, Joe, all of them. And then he sent me the love of my life and Dale and someone who I can write music with and sing with. And uh, God is good. Mm. You know, I will scream it to the the rooftops. You know, he is very good. And, and you, you, uh, you go with him and let him lead you. Can't go wrong. Yeah, man. And and hearing that just made made goosebumps <laughs> on me. You know, it, that's a, a very powerful thing. And and Lee, you're a very powerful woman. Do you have any plans to tour with this new record? Um, well, you know, I know, um, I was just talking with Rhonda the other day. She's talking about getting this, you know, the songs to to gospel radio. Um, I'm hoping that you know, God will take them everywhere and maybe that'll open up even more doors to be able to play some more places. Um, you know, I've done really great with uh, being able to open up for some amazing people. I mean, just last year, Ronnie Millsap, T. Graham Brown, or T.G. Shepard, I got to sing with T. Graham Brown, um, uh, the Gatlin Brothers, Diamond Rio, um, the list goes on and on. And then this year I get to open for Randy Travis. I mean, that is like huge. I mean, this little girl, I remember sitting, I've got a video of me singing a Randy Travis song when I was like seven and my daddy is playing the guitar and having to help me with the words, but to be able to even be on the same stage and get to meet Randy, I'm so excited. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And please everybody go check out Lee Newton uh, on her new web on our website lee newton.com well lee newton official lee newton official.com should have caught that at the beginning of the show there well you can go to lee newton.com and it takes you to my store yeah um and they're all kind of linked together but yeah lee newton official will take you to the website and there's everything on there i've put so much stuff and um there's a lot um of information, a lot of songs, a lot of cool stuff. Um, you know, and I even have a little uh, section for my daddy. So I'm a daddy's girl. <laughs> yeah. And please also follow Lee online, follow her on Facebook, follow her on Twitter, follow her on Instagram. You will not be disappointed. Follow her on TikTok. I follow <laughs> her. I'm one of those followers on TikTok. And I, <laughs> she puts together some really great TikToks. You guys will not be disappointed. Her music as is as great as her TikToks. I'm not even kidding. Uh, so, Lee, we'll have to get you and Dale on. We'll, we'll, we'll do yes. That. Oh, we'll, well, he's upstairs right now. Uh, but he most definitely, I call him down here. I'll tell him that he needs to come down here. <laughs> yeah, you, we'll get him on the show and, and we'll book exactly. Him and, well, like I said, he is getting ready to release uh, his first single. He's going to have so much um, to, to let everybody know about. Uh, his first single's coming out. It's called What the Buck Happened to Country Music. And that sounds like a song I need to hear. You need to hear that, Caden. Well, <laughs> I I will I will be the first person to um, email him and say hey will you do this for me and, and hopefully yeah. he says yes but uh oh he will he will most definitely say yes lee i i want to thank you for your time i treasure your time and uh and we'll do this here in about six months and, and we'll give fans an update on what you've been up to sounds awesome Caden. thank you so much thank you guys so much for watching the kgc show on youtube and wherever you get your podcast don't forget to check out lee newton uh, don't forget to go to dannystefanetti.com slash store slash merch. Don't know why she has two slashes in there, but it's, it's, 
and go go download this album. Go check out our buddies, William Lee Golden and the Goldens, Chris and Rusty and William Lee and Aaron McCoon singing on the bass. And go check out the Oak Ridge Boys and go check out everything that, you know, uh, go check out all of our inner twangs here on the show. Lee, thank you so much. Love you guys. Thank you. Love you guys. Love one another. Be kind. Bye. See you later.